Hello to all you students and staff at Valverde High School and Valverde Academy. I'm Javen and welcome to the 99 News Show for this week. This news show is for the week of February 13th through February 16th, 2024. There's some pretty cool things happening here at Val. One is the Rolex Travel Adventures Club. If you like outdoor travel and visiting local venues and food, you might enjoy this club. If you're interested in being part of the leadership team, please contact Mr. A. Vance in room 204. Remember, adventure is just one step away. Now let's start our news show. Here's the one and only Mrs. Vargas. Hola, hola, buenos dias. Here we are. I'm Ms. Vargas, back at you with the next question of the week. So as we continue to prepare ourselves mentally, well, maybe not physically, but spiritually for this test, it's happening April 23rd, 24th, 25th. It's coming, it's happening. We can't avoid it. And if you're a junior, it's coming your way soon. But we are going to give you everything possible to do your very best. So, tú, échale ganas. Si se puede, eres un campeón. So here we go. All right. We already did an English question, where if you recall, Mr. Doe schooled us on the semicolon. This past week, thank you, Mr. Reams, you told us about how to look at graphs and then kind of use a process of elimination for choosing the, the best answer. And this week, now we have a math question. Oh, you love math? Me too. All right, so let's get to our math question. Here we go. A train travels 250 miles at a constant speed, X, in miles per hour. Enter an equation that can be used to find the speed of the train if the time to travel 250 miles is five hours. So read that carefully. We're not actually looking for an answer here. You actually have to come up with the question. You have to, with the information given, come up with what would be the numerical equation to represent what this person's trying to find out. So there you have it. Advisory teachers, go ahead and click the link in your email. You can look at these slides more closely. You have the, the link to drop in the form. And remember, you have from 11.15, don't do it earlier, to 11.25 to drop your answers. Let's go. May the best junior class advisory win. And I just want to give a shout out to Ms. Huizad. Woo woo! Ms. Huizad's class, you guys were the winners of the challenge last week. Let's see who it'll be this week. Thank you, Mrs. Vargas. Hey students, every week we remind you that Mrs. Lacey, our school librarian, would like to remind you that the library has 3D printing. It's free for students. You can make gifts for your friends, teachers, or yourself. To do this, join Tinkercad and enter the class code. Bam! To get more information, please see Mrs. Lacey in our school library. Now here's Fernando with this week's weather report. Oh my God! Hello, nice and Terrians. I'm Fernando, and here is this week's weather forecast, so let's get started. Today, Tuesday, February 13, looks like it's gonna be party cloudy with the highs of 66 degrees and the lowest of 40 degrees. Wednesday, again, party cloudy with the highs of 67 degrees and the lowest of 41 degrees. Thursday, it's a repeat with cloudy skies with the highs of 66 degrees and the lowest of 43 degrees. And finally, Friday, still cloudy with the highs of 65 degrees and the lowest of 44 degrees. That's it for this week's weather report. See you next time. Back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Fernando. Hey students, have you read the monthly newsletter produced by BSU? Well, here's a little sample. George Washington Carver developed 300 products from peanuts, among them cheese, milk, coffee, flour, ink, dyes, plastic, wood stains, medicinal oils, and cosmetics. John Mercer Langston was the first black man to become a lawyer when he passed the bar in Ohio in 1854. While Rosa Parks is credited with helping spark the civil rights movement when she refused to give up her public bus seat to a white man in Montgomery, Alabama in 1955, expiring the Montgomery bus boycott. The lesser known Claudette Colvin was arrested nine months prior for not giving up her bus seat to a white passenger. If you want to read more, like who is Dr. Charles Drew, then get the BSU monthly newsletter. Pick up your copy in room 203. Now let's go to Coach Martin who will give us a piece of his mind. You are back, you got coach, man. What about your Valverde basketball team? They're doing a great job staying focused. Hey, we're not the biggest team, we don't got the most numbers, but I'm telling you something, they are showing up week after week. And talking about this week, we got Slover and Citrus. The game teachers are gonna be on Tuesday and Thursday this week. They're both home games. And let me tell you something, the young men, they are playing hard. I can't say enough about the manager, wow. Talk about four young ladies that came together and are doing a great job with the clock and keeping the books. 
It's helped out a lot, and I really appreciate you guys. Coach, what about soccer season? Talk to you. I talk to you. I talk to you. Hey, it's coming up in March. Let's get ready. Our sign-up sheets are going to be coming in, and they're going to be coming through. Soccer is going to begin in March. We have a boys' team and a girls' team, hopefully, but definitely have a boys' team. If there's not enough girls, hey, you can play with the boys' team. That's going to be your decision on how you would like to participate for Valverde and the Valverde soccer team. So again, that's going to be starting up in March, and we will we'll be giving you more information on that forthcoming. So this week's sports, boom. We got Slover, we got Citrus. It's going to be fun. Your first place Valverde night, what's going to happen? It's going to be interesting. Both, or I shouldn't say, they're all tied for first place with those two teams. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen. Something's going to come out in the shake. We're going to find out real soon. Let's talk about you seniors. Hey, the 16th's coming. You know what 16th is. That is FAFSA. That is due. Seniors, don't squander the time. Don't squander the time, seniors. Stay focused. This quarter's going to be over before you know it. Progress reports went out last Friday, as you already know, which means you only got four weeks left remaining. If you're an early grad, you've got to get on the ball. So seniors, let's stay focused on what we have to do. And then from there, basketball team, good luck. Great job by the managers. Soccer, oh, who's not getting their kicks out of soccer? And that's going to start in March. For me, coach, we're going to be out of here. Find your action plan, stay with it, and let's get, to, and let's get ourselves to the promised land. And I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great, great week. Thank you, coach. Hey, students, do you need a job? Do you need money? Do you want to get your girl something for Valentine's Day? If you do, Mr. Muhammad has a list of jobs in the Moreno Valley, Paris, and Riverside areas. If you would like to find more information about this, please see him in room 302. Now here's Gio and Savannah with some ASB news for us. Hey there students, it's Gio. And Savannah from ASB. And we're here to tell you about our Valentine's Spirit Week and activities. To start our activities, on the 9th, we're gonna have a Guess the Candy Amount and a Popcorn Day. A Compliment Door will start on the 5th, Origami Hearts on the 8th, Love Poems and Hot Chocolate for the 15th, and lastly, Friendship Bracelets on the 16th. For our Spirit Week, it's gonna be on February 13th through the 16th, with Tuesday being Bring Your Blanket Day, Wednesday will be Red and Pink Day, Thursday is Twin Day, and Friday is the classic Black and Gold Friday. Well, that's everything we have to report on for now. Now. Thank you guys for listening, and we'll be here to update you guys on any ASB news. Yodos! Thank you, Gio and Savannah. On this Wednesday's advisory, we'll have a special broadcast in which Mrs. Vargas will tell us the answer to this week's CAPS test. The broadcast will start at 10.05 sharp. Now here's Mrs. Dodo with some final school news for us. Happy Tuesday. I hope everybody enjoyed their three-day weekend. You got some extra rest. You had a little fun. You relaxed. And now you are back for a four-day week ready to work. Seniors, I want to talk to you this week about the importance of FAFSA. Know that FAFSA, the free application for federal student aid, is something that all of you have to complete as a part of your graduation requirement. You have to have your credits. You have to have your FAFSA done and you have to have 10 hours of community service. All that is coming up really quick. So if any of those things are out of whack, please make sure that you are working to uh, just have all of your requirements so you can walk across the stage. Now, we have our first major deadline for FAFSA coming up on February 16th. If you complete your FAFSA by February 16th, you will get a gold level prize package that includes a free t-shirt, a senior backpack, senior cup, senior merchandise, candy, chips. You get five, gradu every graduate gets five graduation tickets. You get an additional two graduation tickets for completing FAFSA, and you get a bunch of raffle tickets entered in for some grand prizes. We always have some great things to give away, AirPods, Nintendo Switches, TVs, etc. So you really wanna make sure that if you're gonna be completing the FAFSA over the next couple weeks, hey, go ahead and bump that up a little bit. Make sure that you get it done by February 16th and you get as many prizes and rewards as possible for doing what you have to do anyway. That's all I got. Have a great week, make good decisions, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Mrs. Zado. Every month, Ms. G keeps her eye out for students who are showing their values in extraordinary ways in BSU. And this month, Ms. Anaya Williams takes the cake for showing her values and being an exceptional scholar. Anaya is super intelligent and hardworking and has grown into an incredible student. Keep it up and congratulations, Anaya. Now here's the funniest guy in his mind with the joke of the week. Here's Jalen.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's your favorite comedy master, Jalen, back with another joke of the week. Can I get a drum roll, please? What did one pickle say to the other? Deal with it. Get it? Okay, next joke. Now, I know we all know this one. Why was six afraid of seven? Because seven, eight, nine. No, seven, eight, nine. Anyway, thank you, and I'll see you all next time. Peace. Seven, eight, nine, huh? This guy, Jalen, always has something up his sleeve. Well, that's it for this news show. Make sure you watch it on Val's YouTube channel. Please subscribe at BVUSD Team Vision. Well, I'm Javen. Until next week, Knights and Centurions. Same night time and same night channel. Deuces. <laughs> <laughs>